Consider the four data sets shown in the accompanying table, complete parts A through B below. So let's click on the icon to review the data table. So we have data set one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna go ahead and open this directly into StatCrunch. Okay, so here's my data. Let's see what questions it asks. Close this out. So we're trying to find the coefficient coefficient R for each of those data sets. So let's do the first one. I'm gonna to go to stat and regression, simple linear. So the X is in X1, the Y is in Y1, and we'll just take the defaults. And here is our correlation coefficient, 0.816. And we go ahead and repeat for the next three data sets. So I can go here to options and edit and just change this now to X2 and to Y2. Just make sure you get the right data set there. Press compute and notice we get 0.817, pretty close to the 0.816. Do the same thing for the third data set. Gonna go to options and edit and do X3 and Y3. We get 0.816. And then finally do the fourth data set. Options and edit and then go to X4 and Y4. Okay, we get 0.817. So notice that the data sets are different. Um, looks like the X's are the same for these first three, but the Y's are definitely different here. Yet we got the same correlation coefficient for each one of these. Let's take a look at a visual of these. So that's what they're gonna ask us to do is to find a scatter plot for each of those four. So this is the first data set. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And again, two different ways to do this. We can go into regression and just rerun that regression. Let me go to X1 and Y1, and then click this little next button. And here is our first scatter plot. And it has the line superimposed on it. Let's see which one we got here. And that one looks as closest to this value here at A, notice their axis is different. It's at zero on the X and zero on the Y. I can change that. So let's change this X axis. I won't do this for all of them, but just to show you, if you're having a hard time matching it up, change both the X and Y so that it matches with their choices. Okay, so now I think it, you can tell it looks a little more like what they have there. We're gonna mark A. Do the same thing for data set two. So I'm gonna go to options and edit x2 and y2. Okay, Ooh, here's this one here. It's kind of curved like that. That's pretty distinct. Looks like it's D. Only one that looks like that. Now let's do the third data set. I'm gonna go to options and edit, x3 and y3. Press compute, look over next. Looks pretty straight except for this, this outlier right here. So which one looks like that? This guy right here, C. And then the last one, I'm gonna go to options and edit, and now I'll choose X4 and Y4. Go to next. Ooh, so we have all, of, all the points here at eight, except for this one guy right here. That looks like around 19 or so. So which one does that look like? Looks like A right here. Check answer. So I had to refresh this, these may be in a different order, but notice the big thing here is notice that we, even though we got the same correlation coefficient, that does not tell the entire story. We always need to make a visual when creating these because you can always get a, an R value. It'll always spit one out, but does it actually match the situation? There's only one here that really looked good and that was this one here, the second data set. In this particular example, this, this again, this may have switched around and how I have them, but the one that looks like this was the only one that actually sort of, actually this one right here, is the only one that looked like it was legit for running a linear regression and finding a correlation coefficient. So I hope that helps. Again, the big story here is make sure you always plot your data.